buying a put option in thinkorswim from your chart you're going to go to the trade tab here on the trade tab you're going to see the ladders uh, for all your call options and your put options in this example we're not going to focus on the call option we're only going to be focusing on the put options here you'll see a list of the weeklies and the monthlies of when these options are due to expire as an example if you wanted to buy the put options for June the 7th for the spy you would come to the right table and select what option you wish to purchase in this situation what if you wanted to buy the 27450 puts or the 275 puts you would click on the ask asking price here is going to load the order entry tools window here you can select the number of options or contracts that you wish to purchase the minus arrow will basically reduce the number of contracts plus arrow is going to increase the number of contracts but just be careful because you want to make sure that you manage your risk properly in this situation you'll notice that this option or these two contract options are due to expire on June the 7th 2019 and these are the 20 the 275 put options and I have it marked down as a market order you can change this market order to a limit order and then in input the price that you would want to purchase this option at now keep in mind the 265 meaning that for every contract is going to cost you 265 but because every contract has a total of a hundred a hundred stocks hundred shares of stocks you're going to multiply 100 shares of stocks times 265 so that one contract is going to cost you 265 dollars and so then for this specific option since it's two contracts when you click on confirm and send this is going to give you the cost of those two contracts which is going to be your which is going to be in this situation it'll be 530 plus the amount of the of the cost of the contract per contract then it'll give you a total of uh, it'll give you the totals of the contracts plus your plus the cost of the commission that'll give you the totals here now the nice thing about the options is that you have a limited risk that being said make sure that you do manage your risk properly so that you don't lose more than what you are able or what you're make sure that you just manage your risk once you're ready to purchase your options or those contracts then you click on send and it'll basically put you it'll send the order to the market makers to purchase those contracts for you and that is how you buy a put option in think or swim